Hey, it's King Mellow checking in, you know. I want to talk about the day that I got pulled over by the police in that bar in front of uh, Sunset. <laughs> so basically, I just got a text, right? We had a text from uh, of IG from Janelle, so I don't know. She was hungry or whatever, but she like, come get me. I don't feel like walking to Hollywood, man. Mind you, Hollywood is like two blocks off Sunset, but I'm like, fucking, I'm already in the car. You know what I'm saying? Just do it. So, but I ain't, you know, I ain't feeling nothing about it, so I just like, forget it, man. Let me go ahead and go pick up. So, I drive down the bar, I get across Sunset, and mind you, I park next to Amoeba, which is a record store or whatever, in the red. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I saw it, but the reds in, in Hollywood are like not. Red, you know, like it, it blends in with the regular spaces, but I ain't gonna lie, I knew what it was, but I didn't think nothing of it, so I'm smoking a Capone or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just, you know, I'm waiting on her because she was still talking to a customer, you know what I'm saying? So I hit the Capone, look down, then I look back up, I see the police. Oh, what the? F- now they look like taxi police or whatever, but they get out, turn your engine off. What you doing? You know you're in the red, right? License registration, mind you, I don't have none of that shit. We know I don't have none of that shit, no insurance, no nothing. I'm just going off of straight faith, you know what I'm saying? I ain't none of that shit. I'm not worried about it, whatever. You know, it's sad, but it is what it is. You know, you can't let that shit stop you, right? So, I'm like, man, I don't have nothing. You know what I'm saying? He pulled me out the car. Just straight on bullshit. So, I ask him, I say, man. I'm like, you know, so you pulling me, you doing all this, you could have just gave me a ticket, you doing all this because I'm in the red, you on some other shit because I'm black. Oh, jeez. Why the fuck did I say that? <laughs> Why did I say that? They deny it to the fullest. Now, you got one Mexican and one white dude, you know what I'm saying? They handcuffed me. You have anything? You know how they do. You have anything in your pockets, dude? They ain't read me no Miranda or nothing, you know what I'm saying? I guess I wasn't under arrest, but I had enough probable cause to get my car searched. I have a 1979 Chevy Capri, so, you know, I know they're going to be on bullshit with it, whatever. The man, they put me to the side, Janelle, now Janelle walks over, now she crying, and she wanted, not crying yet, but she wondering what's going on. They couldn't give up for, you know, story. So he, you know, he found my ID, I told him I didn't have an ID or nothing, he found it, he run it. You know what I'm saying? He come back saying, oh, I have a, you have a restraining order against her, you're not supposed to be with her, you going to jail, oh, damn. I'm like, fuck it. I wasn't supposed to put my hands on her anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and deal with it. But then they start trying to take the car and all that. And imagine, we telling them, like, man, this is where we sleep at. Don't do this, man. Woo-woo. They not trying to hit shit. You know what I'm saying? They like, we taking it. They ain't, now mind you, they ain't found no weed packs, no swishers, no liquor, no nothing. The car is clean. But he like, you know, you got a restraining order in Colorado. So you can't be next to her. So you going down. Oh. What? I'm going down. So, you know, whatever. They had covered me, put me in the back of the car. Now, now at this time, Janelle's crying. She, oh my God, what you doing? You know, that's how I play. And all this shit, you know. But they not trying to hit shit. He popped the trunk over. Then that's when he see all my clothes, all our clothes and that shit. You not going to sit here and search all that shit. Come on, man. We ain't find shit. No type of paraphernalia in the car. What the fuck, man? Leave me alone, you know? So, hold on. Yeah, you ain't find shit. You know what I'm saying? And they had me out this place for They had, like, everybody that works in on me, when people walking past, it's like, damn, you know, they don't want them to take my car. I'm like, fuck it. I got to do what I got to do, shit. If I got to get shit back to Colorado and handle it, then that's what I'm going to do, you know? But everybody could see that it was some bullshit, you know? Like, every, like regardless, you know, it was some bullshit now. Just because, just because, like, I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm writing books, I'm trying to help people. That don't mean, you know what I'm saying, that I should be above the law. I'm not saying that. But your reason it's for pulling me over is some bullshit. Like, it's some straight bullshit. Like, you just, you seen a car, you thought I was a drug dealer. Now, face it, you just did that because, yeah, you thought you had you one, you know? So then you, you go and check, see if I have any warrants and shit. Come on, man. But anyway, 
<laughs> you go and you do all this other shit to see if I got warrants and all this other shit. And I ain't, you know, I, I had that, that petty ass warrant from Colorado for what happened with me and Janelle and shit, but he, he basically calls them and, you know what I'm saying, he calls them to see if they want to extradite me. They like, nah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying all this shit to say, like, how is it that, you know, like, it's, it's 2017 and motherfuckers still getting harassed by these people, man. You know what I'm saying? But then I look at it like, it must be something that we doing as a whole, you know? It has to be. Because, like, it shouldn't be no reason for you to keep harassing black people like that. And, of course, there's still black motherfuckers out here that's on bullshit that's still selling drugs and all that shit. You know, I feel like that's going to be forever as long as the government bring that shit over here. Because these niggas ain't, these dumbass niggas are not fucking going over there and getting that shit. They not. These niggas not doing that shit, man. They not doing that shit. So, basically, shit, I'm just looking at it like, man, what's going on? Like, like, what can we do to change this shit, man? To change people, you know, people's perception of a black man, you know? What we gotta do, for real? Because it's fucked up out here, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not the only time I got pulled over, but it was the worst, you know? It's like, when, when the man, um, you know, they was just on bullshit. They weren't trying to have nothing she was saying, nothing I was saying. You know, they was steady searching the con shit, but then he was like, fuck it, he ain't got nothing in California, then I'ma just try to find something else. But out of, excuse me, out of those three hours, they let me go. They, they, and then what's crazy, they had the, the car on the tow truck and everything, man. They thought they had no the one, then. For some strange reason, I guess, you know, it's Colorado they want me. He ain't really had shit on me from California. They dropped the car off the truck. The tow truck dude left. He like, yeah, I'm going to let you go. Um, the fuck? Like, I'm happy, but I'm like, all oh, that shit, bro. Like, you did all you fucked up my whole night. You got Janelle crying and all this shit for that. What type of shit you on, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what type of shit these people be on, man? So... I don't know, like, out of all the shit that's going on, you know, with the KKK trying to, you know, rally back up and all that shit, it's some bullshit, man, it's some inner bullshit that's going on for you to say the white race had this and that, you know what I'm saying, yeah, black people say that because look at the history, like, look at what we want, you know, of course we weren't supposed to be here and shit, so, it's like, look at the history behind this shit, you know, look at the history, so of course we gonna bring that up, man, and I feel like it's a lot of, uh, white people that's joining on, and that's why the lady, rest in peace, the hug, got killed by the car, you know, that dude who rode through the crowd or whatever, but, you know, they know what's going on, man, for, but if for people that still try to, like, bring that shit up, KKK, man, that shit is dead, bro, like, for real, y'all don't have enough army, enough guns to really do what y'all did to us back then, so y'all need to sit the fuck down, man. Y'all need to go ahead and sit down, man, and just chuck it up, man. If y'all want to have y'all own space somewhere, y'all don't do all that dumbass shit, then y'all can have it. You know, but, like, leave that shit alone, man. All that stupid-ass KKK shit, man. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, bro. That shit is dead. That shit is over with. There's too many African-Americans and minorities with with money. We're going to say that first, with money. Who can buy guns? Who can buy things? Like the fuck out of here and it's seeming like the uh, government are, are gonna ride with the other the opposite side anyway you know so that shit did like it's over with. Like, leave that shit alone you know say it with all that bullshit man kkk white power come on man get the fuck on with that shit man and half of this shit not even half but majority we built this shit the foundation of it, African Americans, my ancestors built this. So what the fuck are you talking about? You want to holler KKK for more power and put people back in slavery? Man, you better get your bitch ass out of here. Nobody going for that, man. Like me, personally, I go through a lot of like discrimination type shit. Yeah, people will always think you on this level because of how you look. You know, if you're not coming in there with a suit or whatever, you got to be this and whatever. But when they talk to you and they see that you're not that, they're like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's still, it's, I feel like it's going to always be 
it's gonna always be people who who have hate and you know genetically just hate. You know what I'm saying? Because they hate themselves, they gonna always hate. But you gotta keep that shit to a minimum, or you gonna get your wig split. You know? Cause love rules all. So all that bullshit they be doing, man, they can leave that shit for the birds. I mean, leave that shit for nobody. Fuck that shit. You know? I just had to weigh in on the shit though. I know the story a little choppy, but. Basically, man, they, they was on bullshit, you know, and then he was like, oh, I'm not going to take you home while y'all sleeping in this and all that. I'm like, man, this shit crazy. I ain't, like, and then even the the uh, the employees of Amoeba, they were like, man, people pull right there all day, every day. They don't, they don't pull over, pull them over or get on their ass talking about why you in the red come out. And for all that shit they did, they let me go and gave me a ticket for parking in the red. And I wasn't even parked. I pulled over. I was, you know, my hazards on and shit. Come on, man. I want no bus stop or nothing. Like, that shit is crazy. So, it is what it is, though, you know. But I feel like if everybody do what they love, man, and really love themselves first, and then love what they doing in the world, you wouldn't have no time or no reason to hate anybody. If you really, like, if you really love yourself, and then you love what you doing, then you can show love to other people. But if you hate yourself and you hate what you're doing, then the hate is going to automatically just get put out there because you hate yourself. Like, you do. But if you love yourself and you love what you're doing and you love what you're about and you love your life, you will have no reason at all to hate anybody and to want to hurt anybody that's not trying to hurt you. Because you're too busy loving yourself and loving what you're doing. You're too busy thinking about that to even hate on anybody, you know? So, my thing is to be like, fuck that hate. Fuck hate, man. More love, less hate, bro. No hate. More love, no hate. And so, and that's that's what I feel like uh, solve, you know, real issues. If a, a person really sit down, don't worry about shit else but themselves first, you know, you take time out for yourself no matter how long it takes. I don't give a fuck what you got to do. You take time out for yourself. And then you go out to the world and try to do other things. But if you're not, if you're not right with yourself, how could you possibly love and, and do anything for the world? You know what I'm saying? Even, it's a, it's different. Like, they let them, the Israelites and the Hebrew dudes talk shit all day. You know what I'm saying? But it's a difference. They not even out here trying to hurt nobody or any of that. It's figure, uh... Fake man, whatever, you know, figure of speech. Or, I mean, freedom of speech, my fault. I know that. Freedom of speech. It's freedom of speech, for real. So, they don't say shit to them. They get a permit for that. But when the KKK do, you know, nobody want to hear that shit. <laughs> it's tough. Nobody want to hear that other shit. Like, white man and double shit and all that. Neither, but all that KKK shit, that shit is dead, man. Even with them dudes, man. You love yourself. All that other shit for the bird, bro. Like, for real. Tripping on it, really tripping. So if y'all, you know, listen to this to its entirety or whatever, man, comment, you know, let's get it started, man. Ain't no more fucking around, man. I, I want to hear people's opinions, man. So comment, like, dislike, whatever. But I would say like, I don't like dislikes, but it is what it is. It comes a part of the territory, whatever. So. Like I said, love conquers all. You know what I'm saying? If you love yourself, they're going to hate you even more. But what's the cycle that's been going on? But if you love yourself, like, you wouldn't even have no time to hate. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to advise everybody to love themselves. You know, focus on yourself. Go deep inside yourself. Don't look for Jesus, man. Don't look for Jesus to do it. You do it yourself. You do it yourself, man. You look deep down inside yourself because all, most of the people who practice hate they always have god and somewhere in their sentences like god this is god god this but they hate people like they hate others you know what i'm saying they got a lot of hate built up so that should just let you know something anyway does god practice hate or does god teach you to hate you know what i'm saying so like yeah i want you to uh like comment share whatever you know what i'm saying if i want if you want me to talk about the story more in depth or my opinions about this more in depth, man. Comment. Okay.